Hey, our friends, today we're gonna draw another skin from Fortnite. Who are we drawing? DJ Yonder. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. For this lesson, you need a marker, some paper, and... Something to color with. Something to color with. You ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw a rectangle at the top of our paper, but in the middle, and we're gonna leave some room for his body down here at the bottom. So we're first gonna draw a L shape right here. Like that, about that size. And this is so that we can get the overall shape of his head. There we go. And we're gonna draw it a little taller since his head's taller. And then we're gonna draw an upside down L to complete the rectangle. Yeah. Good. Now at the top, let's draw another smaller rectangle that goes all the way over and across. And we're gonna draw the top of his head. We're gonna draw a curved line that goes over the top. Then we can draw his llama ears. Yeah. We're gonna draw we're gonna draw two diagonal lines that come up from each side towards the middle. They're gonna taper towards the top. Yeah. Good job. Now right here down at the bottom, let's draw a, a small line that comes out diagonal also. Then we're going to draw the side of his ears coming up and almost touching at the top. Then let's connect him at the top. Now he's got this bar that's going through the middle, right? Yeah. So let's draw two lines that go through and connect both ears. Then on each side, let's draw a small little rectangle on the outside of his ear. All right, now let's draw his nose and his eyes. We're gonna draw a short line right here at the top. Then we're gonna draw his eyes and they're gonna come down really far. They're gonna come down like this and then right here at the end, they're gonna come back up. Then do the same thing on the other side. Repeat that same step, down, back up. Cool, all right, now let's draw his nose. We're gonna draw a short, two short lines that come down. Then we're gonna connect them. Then we're gonna draw two more short lines coming down. They're a little bit longer though. This is for his nose. And then we're gonna connect those too. Now he has two nostrils, right? Yeah. Two ovals. We're gonna draw two ovals right next to each other inside that rectangle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we could draw his mouth. We're gonna draw two diagonal lines that come out on each side, like that. Now we're gonna draw the bottom of his mouth. So we're gonna draw two more diagonal lines that come in, and then connect them at the bottom. Yeah, all right, now we're gonna draw the bottom of his jaw, so we're gonna draw two more diagonal lines coming out. There's a lot of details on yeah. his face. And if our art friends need more time to finish the step, what can they do? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can always pause the video if you need more time. Now let's draw his teeth. He's got this rectangle right here for his front teeth. So we're gonna draw this small little rectangle. And then right here, let's draw a line because he has a gold tooth. Yeah. Now let's draw his bottom teeth. We're just, we're gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna draw another rectangle at the bottom. <laughs> Good job. All right, now right here, we're gonna draw a line that comes all the way across in the middle. Okay, now let's draw his jaw. We're gonna draw a curved line that comes up and back down. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, up and back down. Now he has this harness that goes over his, his mouth. So we're gonna draw two lines up here. It goes over the top of his nose. So we're in, it's yellow or gold. And then we're gonna draw two diagonal lines they're gonna come down like this on the left side, and we're gonna do the same thing on the right side. Yeah, all right, good. Now we can also connect the sides of his mouth if there's a little gap. What should we draw next? His ears. His ears? Let's draw. Oh, headphones. It, yeah, I think they're headphones. We're gonna draw two rectangles on each side. So we'll draw a line that comes out, down and then back in. Now in the middle of each rectangle, let's draw two lines going down on 
both sides. We did it, we finished his head, let's draw his neck. We're gonna draw two lines that come straight down on each side of his jaw. Then right here we can draw, let's draw a V that's gonna come down and then back up and look how I went past his neck. Now the end of each V we're gonna curve around and connect it into his head for his hood. Then on his neck, let's draw two lines and if you want, you could draw three if you have room to connect them that go across his neck. And then he has a headphone cord that comes down like this and into his jacket. Cool. All right, let's finish his hood. We're going to draw another line that comes down like this and one on the other side too. Then we're gonna draw another V to connect those two lines. All right, we did it, we drew his hoodie. Yeah. Okay, on each side we can also draw a ring. Let's draw, let's just draw circles on each side. You ready to draw his body next? Yes. We're gonna draw two lines that come down from the side of his hood and we, we want them to come down to his waist. So down here at the bottom, they're getting closer. Then we're gonna draw a line that connects them like that. Then let's draw an A shape right here in the middle. And then on the top, we're gonna draw a line that extends over to his left shoulder. He has this really cool colorful band that goes across his chest. So we're going to draw another line that comes across on top of that. Oh, he's looking so awesome. Yeah. Then next he has these really cool designs going across his chest on the other side. So we're going to draw a line that comes over like this and then straight down. Now we're going to repeat that same line. We're going to draw another line right above it and straight down. Then over here, let's draw two lines coming down like this. He also has pockets, so let's draw a small little rectangle on the side of his body and we'll do a small rectangle over here on the left side. Next, let's draw his legs. We're going to draw two lines that come out from his waist. And then let's draw the inside of his legs. We're going to draw an A shape that comes up like this and then back down and look how I, I'm further, I'm lower on the inside than I am on the outside. Then right here, let's connect this into the inside of his leg. This is where his shoes are gonna start. Then we're gonna draw his, the front of his foot or his shoe for his toes and we'll do the same thing over here. A line that comes out and then down. Then connect the bottom for the bottom of his shoes. Oh, that's so much fun, man. Yeah. He's got a lot of details, but he looks so cool. And it's not that hard because we're taking it one step at a time. Now let's draw the bottom of his shoe. We're going to draw two lines on each side. And then we can connect those two. You're kind of running out of room, aren't you? Yeah. That's okay. All right. Now let's draw his, he has this tongue that sticks out because he has these cool shoes and he has the, the front of his shoe sticks up. Let's add more details to his shoes. I'm going to draw three lines that go across the top of his foot. On his pants, he has these really colorful pixels. Let's draw some rectangles. Right here, down here towards his, the bottom of his leg, we're gonna draw a long rectangle right in the middle. And let's do the same, we're gonna repeat the same step on each leg. So long rectangle. Then we're gonna draw a short rectangle, looks like a square on top of it. Then let's leave some space and we're going to do a really skinny rectangle. And if you want, you can add more. We're going to keep it simple just like this. But let's add another rectangle that repeats the same shape. So it's really long, but it's touching the outside of his pants. Then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to draw a short and then an even shorter rectangle up here. And then let's do that on the inside also. 
That's kind of a simple way to do that design, right? Yeah. It's a lot more complicated in the actual game, but I, I think this is a little easier. So now we're just gonna go repeat the same design over here on his right leg. So do the long one, short one, and then an even smaller one up at the top. His pants look awesome. I wish I had pants like these. I know, same. <laughs> All right, what's he missing? His arms his, and his hands. His arms and his hands. Let's first start by drawing the outside of his arm. We're just gonna draw a line that comes down, diagonal, on each side. Yeah, and then we're gonna start really close to his wrist because his wrist is smaller, and then towards the top, we're gonna get further away so it's thicker, and we'll do the same thing over here. There's his arms, a really simple arm. Yeah. Now let's draw his hands. We're gonna draw his thumb first, sideways U. Then we're gonna draw a C shape. And then we're gonna draw another finger like this, another U uh, sideways U. And then we can connect it back up to his hand. Okay, he's only got two fingers. Let's add a few more fingers. We're gonna draw a sideways J couple of them to add more fingers in there. Okay, let's do the same thing over here. Sideways U, draw a backwards C, another sideways U, and he's got the two fingers. Yeah. Oh, let's connect it first to finish his hand. And then let's add those second and third finger. <laughs> he only has a couple fingers. Yeah. I like it though, it's really simple. Now let's add the details to his arms. We're gonna add two lines on his wrist for the end of his jacket. Then up here on his shoulders, let's add two more lines on each side. One's colorful and one's gold. Then he has these really cool gold zippers or details that come down, but it's in a wave, a wiggly line shape. And I'm gonna draw another line right next to it so we can color it gold. Looks like a wire. Yeah, it does look like wires. Then let's do the same thing on the other side. Draw a wavy line, and then draw a wavy line right next to it that matches. His fingers are blue, so let's draw a line that goes across his fingers and also on his thumb, and we'll do the same thing on the right side. There's only a few more details we need to add. Let's add a little shape on the outside of his glove. This is also gold. It looks like more wires. And then we can add two lines that come down the middle of his hood. And then also he has these drawstrings on his hoodie. Let's draw a line that comes down and a line that comes down on the other, these little circles. It looks so awesome. Yeah. Did you have fun? Yes. Now we're not completely done, right? What do we still need to do? Color him. Yeah, he's gonna look so much better all colored in. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause it to match the same color. We did it, we finished coloring DJ Yonder. Do you think he looks better colored in? A lot better. A, a lot better, me yeah. too. I, I totally agree with you. I hope our art friends at home are gonna take time to pause the video and match the same coloring. We also added some shading, but you can leave the shading off to keep this lesson a little easier. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your DJ Yonder. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. I, I always wanna call him DJ Llama. DJ Llama, yeah. I wonder why he's yeah. called DJ Yonder. Yeah. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>